Okay, next we're going to talk about opening source code directly into Visual Studio 2017. Um, many times when you're dealing with code, you, you have code that's outside of Visual Studio that may or may not have a solution file. Um, you, date, you may not want to create it within Visual Studio. It might be from somewhere else, maybe a friend's code or some GitHub re repository or something like that. So we're going to demonstrate how to do that. Um, by the way, this uh, demo is going to show a very basic uh, way to get uh, code from a GitHub repo. Um, if you need more specifics on, on dealing with this, then here are some ideas for additional reading. So now we'll go ahead and start with a demo. Okay, you can see Visual Studio is sitting here empty right now. We don't have anything in Solution Explorer, which is typically where your projects show up. We're going to go ahead and switch over to a tab called Team Explorer. And if you don't have this tab, by the way, you can get it under the View menu and just click that and it, the Team Explorer command and it will show up. Team Explorer is, well, I can't get into depth on it right now. It basically allows you to collaborate with others and to uh, share code with others. So in this one, we're going to use this dialog because it allows you to hook up to a local Git repository. In other words, you can clone a repository from Git onto your system. So we're going to go ahead and do that right here. You can see the various commands here. You can create a new uh, repository on your system. Remember, these are local. You can also do hosted service providers such as Visual Studio Team Services if you want to share your code with others. But for this one, we're just going to use a local repo. You can add a repo. You can clone an existing repo online. And you can there's some view options. So we're going to head, go ahead and hit clone. And it's asking for a URL for, of a Git repo. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to uh, this magically created GitHub repo that I've got. Uh, this is just off the Microsoft uh, repository. It's called Bing Maps SDS Toolkit. And if you notice, if you're familiar with Git, and if you're not, I'll show you anyway, there's a clone or download link. And if you get that, it shows the uh, URL that you need to clone the repo. We'll go ahead and click that to copy it. We'll switch back into Visual Studio. We will paste in the URL, and you can see it, where it's going to go on your local system if you need. Uh, you can check or uncheck recursively clone submodules. In other words, if it's an extensive project with lots of submodules, you can include those or not, depending on what you want to do. When you're ready to go, you just hit clone, and it will go ahead and clone the repo on your system. Now, this could take a while, depending on the size of the repo. This one's not very big, so... When you're done, you open into Visual Studio again, and uh, you can see it says click on solution and folders below to view a list of solutions. In other words, it's brought the, uh, the repo in, and now you can look at it. So if you notice, we've switched over to Solution Explorer, and this is the source code from the repo. And in many cases, well, in some cases I should say, they will already have a solution file in it, like this particular one does. Visual Studio solution files are end with .sln. And to, to start working on the solution, you can just double click this and it will open up the uh, project so that you can start working on the code, examining it. These are the, def the documentation here. Here's some samples. Here's some solution items right here. And here's the source code. Notice it's in bold, which means this is the startup object. If you run it, this is going to be the startup uh, project. So if I can go into, just to show you the code, you can see all the code. Also, if you want to, if you have a project that doesn't have a solution, you can just open the code and start working on it, just as you would with any other editor. There's no need to have a solution or a project. 